your super chat as well. Appreciate it. Um, Fulham, uh, Aston Villa are winning already. Uh, Ollie Watkins, I think, has scored after five minutes. Yep, Leon Bailey assisted. Uh, Aston Villa 1-0 up already. So uh, I don't think today is the day that Villa drop points. And Arna's right out of his goal here, but he's done well. Done well. I'd applaud that. Everybody, well, the kick's a bit shit, but uh, out of his goal. Good control. Clears the danger. Yeah, Ollie Watkins has made it 1-0 to Villa in the first five minutes. You know, I, I, I still think it baffles me how, you know, you, you've got people who went to university and get a blue tick as a journalist. I don't think that gives them any insight into how play football. I, I really don't think they have a clue most of the time. But I, I expect better from some of our fans. And I don't know what they're expecting to happen. We've got a right-sided centre-back playing at left-back. We don't have a natural striker. Um the balance is not going to be perfect and it's the constant changes that 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 do make a, that that causes a problem i think if you had martinez playing where maguire is and you had luke shaw playing where lindelof is and you had rasmus on the on the pitch you'd see a very different manchester united um we've had 10 minutes here it's not been great but it's not surprising to me I, i'm not surprised i mean saud says this is pathetic well I don't think it is. I think it's predictable. I don't think it's. I don't think it's pathetic. In, if football was so obviously easy that you can just lose key players and play brilliantly, then why is Pep dominating world football? You know, good coaching needs good players, and we are imbalanced. Oh my God! Another big chance. I think Anana gets on it. And it goes for another corner. United are hanging on here. It's a good save by uh, Anana, to be fair. Headed down. And uh, walking on th walking on thin ice, says Macaque. Yeah, definitely. Definitely agree with that. Um, Delo was there as well, but it almost dropped. Mark back from injury, and it's about, you know, getting his uh, fitness levels up. And Go on, Harry. Oh, he should have had a shot. Ganacho. Shoot. Oh, fucking hell. Harry! Oh, penalty! Late FIFA foul! Bollocks, wanker! Oh, well, probably Man United's best chance of the game, and it was very, very scrappy, but it, uh, it didn't actually fall for us. Um, Maguire making a menace of himself. Ganacho getting a shot off, which I actually think might have been going in. It beat the keep. No, it probably was going wide, to be fair. It's just bouncing around. Has Malassia been sold or just vanished, says Liam? Well, yeah, he's, he's injured. See, I think Bruno plays the wrong pass there. He's, he's the ki You know what? Even I'm starting to get pissed off with it now. It's the fucking killer ball all the time. He gets the ball in a good position there. He's got two runners. He's got Ganacho and Rashford. The Rashford pass isn't on. Either pass it to Ganacho or or move with the ball. He gets the ball, bang. It's this. I've said it. You know what? The amount of arguments I've had with people and they don't get it. There is no way in a million years Bruno Fernandes starts for Liverpool or Man City or Arsenal. Never. Never would he. And not just now. Ever. They won't start him because Pep Guardiola would go fucking mad with a pass like that. He'd say you've got space and you've got a better pass and you're going for the Hollywood quarterback Hail Mary every bloody time. Like. Just keep the fucking ball. We're not playing well. Keep the fucking ball and stop going for the, the, this ridiculous pass every time. There's a woe beat. Post. Fucking hell. Fulham have just hit the post. Is that that guy? Muniz scored a lot of goals recently. I mean, he the, the way Lindelof gets turned here is embarrassing. You know, he would be absolutely rinsed there. Lindelof. And to be fair to Anana, you're not saving you're not saving them. Predators. Side of the post. And obviously it's nil-nil here. I, I haven't had a chance to say this yet, but I'm gonna say it before it happens. Um again, with Manchester United, I think it comes down to who scores first. If Fulham were to score first in this game. There's no indication that we're going to score two. So I think the first goal becomes absolutely crucial in this game today. And if I was a Spurs fans wa fan watching, I'd be thinking, you know what? You never know. 
If you're going to put Bruno on the wing, take him off. Like, if we're putting him on the right wing, you may as well take him off. Wonder if reason we get injuries is because we play and train at high intensity, but our health department isn't equipped to provide the required recovery, says Abhishek. I don't I'm, I guarantee it's something that any of us are going to look in. Just got to try and hang in there. Goal. There it is. There it is. It was always coming. Um, always coming. And I don't really have a lot to say. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. But it's been coming for a long time. It's a fucking awful, 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 awful performance from United today. And I tell you what, I'm about done with Rashford and Bruno, to be honest with you. I really am. Absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just so, so hard to take because we've won the last four games and we've given ourselves a chance. And then, you know, you, you go to Molyneux, you go to Luton, you go to Villa, you grind out the results so that these games, you get the wins. And it's just typical. Absolutely fucking typical. I'm sorry, the, the, the sort of... The patience runs thin with certain players like Rashford and Bruno... Because you're the sort of players in these sorts of games, you get the big bucks because you're the big players. And f absolutely fucking nothing, nothing from either player in 66 minutes. But, but you know, people don't listen. I said, Casemiro, Martinez and Shaw are massive for this team. We've got none of them now. We had them for, we had them for, we had, well, we didn't, we had Martinez for a game and a half. We had Luke Shaw for two and we've had Casemiro for three and a half. And now we've got none of them. And, and Fulham are absolutely... What the fuck is Bruno Fernandes doing on the right wing? He is not a fucking right winger. Take him off for God's sake. Stop keeping people on because you're scared of subbing them off. Take them off. Take fucking Rashford off and Bruno off and you'll get the biggest cheer of the day. Take them off. They're playing shit. And a fucking rubbish pass by McTominay behind Ericsson on the edge of the box. It's fucking abysmal. Just absolutely abysmal. I mean, we've got players again, haven't we? Good shot by Fulham, just wide. We've got, we've got players again who are just downing fucking tools on the pitch again. Absolute. Just, 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 this is what I mean about consistency. We had it with Oli, we had it with Mourinho, we've got it with Ten Hag, we had it with Van Gaal. You just can't trust these players. You just can't trust... I, I, you know what, I thought, I thought? I think Ericsson was a waste of time to bring on as well. He ain't quick enough anymore. He ain't a box-to-box -box -to -box midfielder. He's a number 10. Uh, I mean, Amrabat must be fucking shit. Let's be honest. Corner comes in. Maguire again. Fucking hell! How many times is he going to miss a bloody sitter? He's so good at winning headers and he can't direct it. It's so frustrating. He's probably the best player in the Premier League for winning headers. And he can't direct it. It's a free header six yards out. Oh. Goal! He's offside. He's not offside! Gatton! Harry Maguire! 1-1! Seb, where are you? Seb, where are you? Seb, are you in the house? It's Harry Maguire and it's 1-1 Manchester United. Get in! Get in! Get in! He's gone down the park. What? Manchester United. Open the door! Open the door! Push the door! Harry Maguire. 1-1. Get in! Watch this. The cross comes in. Bruno, get ready for it. You've not... Get ready. Just get ready. Bruno. Bruno. Cross. Yeah, he's onside. And there he is. Bang! Back of the net. Harry Maguire. What do you think about that then? Good. Get in! Uh, he's not offside. There's no way. There's no way he's offside. They can't... They can't be giving it offside. They can't give it offside. Oh, 
Oh, Maguire's on a yellow card here, and he's up against the Doma Traore. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Absolute. You know what? You know where this comes from as well? Ericsson. Ericsson. Maguire can't put the tackle in because he's on a yellow card. Unbelievable. The Ten Hag outers will be fucking celebrating with Fulham fans here. This is the this is the state of our fan base, by the way. The Ten Hag outers will be celebrating this. They'll be loving this. They're not fucking United fans at all. They're scum. They're absolute scum. Ericsson, fucking useless. Maguire can't put the tackle in because he's on a yellow card. Bottom corner. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Ericsson's been shit since he came on. I'm sorry. Absolute shite. Absolute shite. You've got a guy out there on 360 grand a week. I'd rather have Postman Pat up front. At least he fucking delivers. You know, absolutely shambolic performance from some players on that pitch. In fact, let's not say some players on that pitch. Bruno Fernandes hasn't put a good performance in for about five games. You know, he, he does run around a lot. He does put an effort in. But he hasn't put a performance in for five games. Marcus Rashford is a fucking disgrace. An absolute disgrace to the talent that he supposedly has. Ericsson may as well retire now. I mean, that was just not quick enough. Passing was terrible. You know, you've got to question these players. You have to question these players. Because if if if, if it doesn't matter who the manager is. Pep Guardiola, Eric Ten Hag, Neil Warnock. People like Rashford and Bruno are putting in four out of ten. You're going to lose in the Premier League. It's a very competitive league. So, yeah, there'll be criticism of tactics. There'll be criticism of selections. But no manager is going to win a game of football against Fulham or anybody when people like Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford are throwing in four out of ten performances. It won't happen. It just will not happen. Oh, Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.